Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you some of the features that the default camera app of uh, Chrome OS has. All right, let's get into it. So to start the camera app, come to the app launcher and just search for camera here. And the camera app shows up. As you can see, it's really a nice app. You can use it to take pictures of yourself. So just uh, uh, get yourself in place and then snap a picture of yourself. All right. It uses your Chromebook's uh, default webcam, but if you have an external webcam, you can also use that. Just connect it to your Chromebook and it will take that picture. So after the picture is taken, just come to the bottom right corner here and then tap on that icon and you'll be able to uh, view your image. All right, on the left panel here, you can turn on the grid okay if you want to center yourself or if you want to position yourself wherever you want on the camera you can totally do that and also i'm um, just going to turn that off you also have a timer here right so you can set it to let's say three seconds before it takes a picture And yeah, and if you have two cameras, uh, your uh, Chromebook's built-in webcam and an external camera, you can switch between camera feeds uh, using this icon here. So I'm just going to switch to my external webcam. It's a One's View HD webcam. As you can see, it's a lot more clear than my built-in webcam. All right, so let's just switch back again. And then the other feature you have here is a uh, video. So you can use uh, the camera app to just take videos of yourself. Let's see. Hey, this is David from Dignited. Stop. And let's just see that. Hey, this is David from Dignited. Yeah, very, very good. It saves the video to MP4. Unlike the screencasting app that saves it as um, uh, WebP. So this is really great. You can also take GIFs if you so like. And then the other feature you have is you can use the camera app to like scan documents or packages. Let's just see. I have a little package here. And let's just see what it does there. I'm just going to position it in front of the camera and then click on the shutter button. Yeah. Wow, this is really, really accurate. You can see it has really done a pretty nice job. We can do a little bit of uh, fixing here. I'm just going to extend the edges so that it, uh, you know, just captures the extra uh, area. And then after you're done, you can save it as a document, you can save it as an image. Yeah. Wow, what a nice way to scan stuff. Just scan papers and documents and stuff. All right, okay, you can scan a QR code of any product. So I have a Wisecam package here. Yeah? So let's just put it in front here. And yeah, you can see it has scanned it and I have a little text here which I can copy. So if it is a little text hidden the QR code or a web page URL, it can actually do that. So, all right, let's come to the settings and see what we have here. We have photo resolution. You can choose between full resolution and medium resolution for the front camera. If you have an external camera, you can also do that for those camera feeds. Uh, you can choose the aspect ratios here, okay? uh yeah it's really really minimalistic not much you can uh, dive into let's see the video settings uh re resolution again you have between full hd and hd for the external camera my uh, built-in webcam really doesn't give me much of a choice there so there's nothing to do there yep here it is i think it really looks good it works good if you have used uh, Mac OS's uh, photo booth, I believe, it works a little similar to this. And yeah, if you want to shoot videos and you have really nice lighting, you have uh, nice audio and everything else, you can actually use this to do that. 
All right, this has been a look through the features of the camera app that comes on your Chromebook. Every Chromebook has this little camera app. If you like this video, uh, go ahead and give us a like, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next one.